Good day and welcome to Diksha. My name is Omkar and today my topic will be meditation. Meditation has seen a revival in the Western culture through Hollywood films, TV series, and even in popular culture and magazines. And one has to wonder, what is meditation? Is meditation what we see being popularized on television? Or is meditation a mystic practice? Today I'll present a couple of ideas and hopefully shed some light on this topic. So meditation. In short, meditation cannot be practiced. And I'll show you why. Remember on our first, on our introductory episode, I covered the Omkar symbol. Now the philosophy or the idea behind this symbol is that there are three states we exist in. Waking, in which we experience our thoughts, desires, emotions. We have sleeping, in which we experience dreams, also thoughts, emotions and desires, but on a subconscious level. We have deep sleep in which we experience rest. Because we don't have the experience of thoughts and emotions in deep sleep. There is a separation of our consciousness from these three states. And that is a philosophy of Omkar. Meditation is a practice in which we try to experience our conscious state directly. Whereby we develop practices, techniques to be established in this conscious state. So if we practice our meditation technique and we experience an emotional experience or we experience a feeling of relaxation, which is a de-stressing feeling, then we have experienced something that is encompassed in the waking state. So we have not gone beyond waking state into any other state or transcended these states into conscious state. If while meditating we fall asleep and we have a dream or vision, we have experienced something in the sleeping state. And even in this vision, if we have emotions or if we have uh, feelings, experienced feelings, then we are within these two states of consciousness. Now I'm not saying that the person has fallen asleep during their meditation practice, what I am saying is the experience, the conscious experience is in these two states. If we have had meditation and experience a feeling of rest or a feeling of emptiness resulting in a rested feeling, we have entered into this state consciously. So we have not fallen asleep and fallen into deep sleep. We have really consciously experienced this state. And if we, through meditation, 
experience our self we have an experience of our consciousness only the experience of consciousness then we have entered meditation so meditation is the conscious experience of our consciousness now conscious is in this case a noun and well consciousness is the noun and conscious means we have uh, at will experience being <clears throat> Now, on the reverse side, a person who has experienced consciousness cannot, by definition of what this is symbolizing, relate what they have experienced. Because things can only be related, related in the waking state, which is speech words which is writing thoughts emotions ideas any of these and much more are products of the waking mind because Dreams which occur in the sleeping state are subconscious ideas, emotions, experiences being projected in the mind which we ourselves sometimes cannot bring to meaning or fully understand. So, any expression of meditation, meditative experience consciously by using speech or any other form of idea is not describing something which transcends the waking state because the conscious state is beyond these is separated from these and that is the meaning of this line it is separated it does not exist here so meditation is an experience and can only remain an experience there are no words for it there are no words to describe it and there can never ever be a word to describe it and that was my short presentation on the philosophy behind meditation and what I believe to be a core principle in understanding how to properly meditate or how to properly practice meditation because one thing I really believe is that we will achieve what we set out to achieve that our mind will facilitate our development now if we try to achieve something that has been consciously or an idea rather that has been consciously put forward so we try to achieve a meditative state that has been described or prescribed to us we are not in, we are in fact not practicing meditation or aspiring to be in a meditative state we have limited ourselves to the waking state only so this is my idea on it and i hope it shed some light and well i welcome you to join me next time on diksha my name is omkar saying good day